In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create an Oracle Application Builder Cloud Service application that invokes an external REST service. The REST service that we're going to use is the one that you're seeing here on the page, so this is the URL, and based on this parameter, we return a list of repositories for this user. So we're going to pass a parameter, which is the name of the company, and we're going to actually get back those results. We're just going to show you the results of the name field of uh, this um, set of data. Right, so let's go ahead and create the new application. Let's call this the invoke uh, REST service. I'm going to use the alter look and feel and we're just going to create one page. So I'm going to show you another thing uh, in here which is that you don't actually have to use the home page, you can create your own page. Um, for example, right here, I can click and create a new page. When I choose a new page, I can choose what type of page it is from the list of um, those uh, capabilities. I'm going to use a create page because this allows me to insert data uh, which will be specifically the parameter that I'm going to use. So let's call this page the company page. Okay, And I need a business object here, so I'm going to call this the company object. When I click create, I get a new page over here with the save and close and cancel buttons and the logo. Um, and on this page, I'm actually going to need to have a field for the parameter, which is the company name. Like that. Okay. And then I'm going to have a button. I'll put the button here. Like that. And then I would need an area for my results. So um, I'm going to use a custom HTML component and I put it over here and ignore those arrows. I'm going to resize it to be a little bit wider, like that. And inside here, I'm going to just write some HTML for my custom component. Um, so this is going to be a div that is showing the results, like that. And what you want to do is you want to give this div a name, so name, and I'm going to just name it results, okay? So remember this name, it's going to be important in a minute, so this is this area over here. Okay, we might want to have the button a little bit bigger to fit in the whole text. Another thing we want to do is we don't actually need those buttons and these titles, so let's just delete them, like that. Okay, so here's our page. Next, we want to actually do some logic on this button. So let's go to the action of the button and define a new action. And we're going to use some custom JavaScript code here. And we'll call this call git rest. Okay, let's edit this code. And I'm going to copy some code into here. Okay, actually don't need the first line of code. We're going to start from the second line of code. So let's see what this code does. Um, we're using jQuery here to call a JSON REST service, and this is the service that we're calling. And you can see we're basically missing here the name of the company or the user. So we actually want this to be based on our parameter, which is the company name. So let's just click on it, and we'll get this expression in here that returns the company name. So, we're calling this REST service URL. The results are returned into here. Okay. And then we're parsing the results. We're picking up the name of the, uh, the property called name. And we're doing it for each one of the results that are being returned. And then we're returning resolve. Okay. And what we want to do with the name is we want to actually append it to an HTML in our page. And we're going to append it to the div that is called results, okay? So this is what we're doing here, save. Let's save and close, okay? And now we have this page. One more thing we want to do is we actually want to set it so our application starts directly by going to our page. So instead of going to the home page, we're going to start by going to the company page. Okay, so this is what is this icon does, or this menu item, okay? And this is it. We're actually ready to run this, but I'm going to do one more step. I'm actually going to stage the application, call it version 1. Okay. 
and this creates a copy that I can give my testers to actually test the application. So this application is now staged. If I actually go to the home page, I can see the URL to it, and uh, you can copy the URL, give it to people to use. I'm going to just paste it over here, and when someone invokes the application, you can actually see that we're being directed directly into the page that we created. There we go. So let's pass in a parameter, for example, Oracle as a company, and click the button. And as you can see, we call the REST service, got a bunch of values, and returned it over here. Because we are doing an append, I can actually call another call for the same service. Uh, let's call and get results for Microsoft and click the button, and those are appended over here. I can do the same thing, for example, SAP, and get more and more results. Each click of a button passes the parameters and get me a different set of results that I'm showing here. So this is how simple it is to create an ABCS application that calls the REST service passing in a parameter.